What's up and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra, joined by Andrew the Flash Gordon. What is up? And today we are going to be watching the Kites trailer. I know this came out in 2010. Jabby's seen it, we haven't. And we're excited to be able to watch this trailer with you and hopefully get excited to watch the whole thing soon. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that bell icon on with all notifications and hit that like button so YouTube knows that you like what you're watching here today. And let's get into this trailer, y'all. Meet my fiance Natasha. Mi amor, tenga aquí. Papa, you know, I, I, I don't know what you said. Natasha! Oh! Bonito, beautiful. Them. <gasps> he has abducted my son's fiance. Not only that, he has stolen two million dollars from my casino. I want you to look at every hotel, every casino, every nook and cranny. Oh wow! That's like. Si te cuenta de eso, no? I don't understand what you're saying. You kiss me. You don't like it? One minute. Who's wrong with you? What, you want to rob, rob the bank? Notorious thieves, Jay and Natasha, have reported oh. another million in their crime spree. How you say I love you in India? Main ullu ki patti hoon. Main ullu ki patti hoon. Uh, <laughs> what? There was that one action sequences where the cars were coming off the truck that brings cars to the dealership. Reminded me so much of, did you ever see Bad Boys 2? Yes. Where they were doing that literally yeah. when Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are in the Ferrari dropping the cars at them. I Remind thought you were going to say Fast and Furious. That's why I was uh, like thinking that, which I feel like they've done so many of those like desert chase scenes like that. From the beginning of the trailer, I just felt like it was just going to be a just a normal love story. I wasn't like an affair. What, yeah, just an affair. I wasn't knowing, like just a formulaic like love affair of very good chemistry and very good looking two people. Yeah. Definitely that actor does not work out enough. So he needs to. That's hit. why I said it, it's my babe. Oh, I saw him in one shot. I was like, riff it. He needs to hit the gym. <laughs> No, this looks really intriguing and interesting and just the lengths that some people will go to when they feel trapped in a relationship and to get out of that relationship to get into another one and then kind of to free themselves. It just, it seems like a really interesting storyline. And again, the chemistry and the interactions between the two characters, their chemistry was fantastic. Just from yeah. the trailer, like I really am She was beautiful to too. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. really intrigued to see this. It looks really cool. It's really giving like a cool mixture of vibes and it, I never condone cheating, but but I will say that there adds more levity to it, obviously, if there's like some sort of abuse or like forcing into the relationship. That's different circumstances. This one is weird because the only time we heard the fiance address her, he said, my love, and it felt kind of loving, right? So I'm wondering if there's more to that story, if she didn't love him, if there was issues, if he is an issue himself, it seems like he's a part of a like kind of not the greatest group around. So I wonder like, what what that is. We don't know what's going on because we haven't watched the movie. We're just going based on the trailer. From my interpretation, it felt like it was possibly forced. She's not financially free. So, you know, maybe she has to rely on him or was forced into that type of relationship or it obviously she's not in love with him. So it's going to be interesting to see what the dynamics of their relationship is that we 
get to see why besides the fact that she's so attracted to this man before you know we see the the affair happen so i'm looking forward to seeing if we ever get to see this film the dynamics of the relationship she has with her fiance before she starts the relationship yeah. with the other character what brings her to do this because again like you i do not condone cheating if you don't feel the same way about your partner leave that's, that's totally cool <laughs> totally understandable just leave it's better than cheating yeah um but again i'm just very curious about the dynamics of their relationship that causes her to embrace this affair is this a relationship you're willing to literally do these kinds of things and go to these extreme measures to well sometimes sir okay so i feel like if you've been in a few relationships like people bring different things out of you and there's different types of relationships there's relationships fueled by love and there's relationships fueled by like lust and passion this feels like kind of a mixture of all three like some people say. make you like really wild in a way that you wouldn't be before and it feels like both of them are bringing out the freaking one another <laughs> and, and that's why we kind of mentioned bonnie and clyde it's like it's time to i mean obviously they're it doesn't feel like they're evil but it's like kind of like hey we're gonna root for the bad guys who are trying to do it you know who are good in heart but they're just doing what they have to do to survive and make this relationship work yeah and i like that we're getting this bollywood meets mexico meets some english in the film at the intersection of the different cultures and how much that will be intertwined i wonder where they're shooting on location because it seemed like there were they were in mexico but then I they're moving vegas. around I yeah I saw vegas yeah but that looks really fun and what like you were saying the connection between the two co-stars i'm like yeah, that's a, that's a good looking match there. I think Wouldn't I'd be interested in watching. Wouldn't be surprised if after the film was done rapping, they were still hooking up. Yeah, I mean, that's like Angelina and Brad Pitt during Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Or Ryan Felipe and Reese Witherspoon, Cruel Intentions. Oh, yeah. God, Reese Witherspoon, she's a great. Yeah, but this looked fun. I'm glad that we saw that. And I'm wondering what the connection with the title Kites is. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we just saw, obviously we saw a couple images with kites, but yeah, I'm like, like you. What I'm does very... that mean? I mean, I guess we'll have to watch the film and yeah. find out, right? We'll have to see. But thanks for watching that trailer with us. Much appreciated. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn that bell icon on with all notifications and hit that like button so YouTube knows that you like what you're watching here today. I'm Steph Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. And we'll see you later. Much love.